Hey guys, it's Rise Nick, and I want to make this video a uncut video to explain why I decided not to participate in Phase One. Now I know you guys have got a lot of questions coming up, and I'll preemptively answer you for them. Like, why would I pass up on hump on an event like that? Why would I pass up on a million bucks? What will my future be like? So in this raw uncut video, I'm going to be explaining everything in like full detail without like uh, anything like falling out by mistake or something because I can get like a little stuttery sometimes. So if I get stuttery, um, please understand that this is how I get sometimes. Oh god, my nose is itchy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna explain from the beginning how this all like started and all that. Um, so first I so I started like trying to go pro in video games like in Fortnite chapter two season one. Um when I discovered the pro scene and I was grinding my way up, I was making my little um content i started streaming on youtube and then i moved over to twitch um twitch, um when and then like uh i started playing wagers against other pros to like test out my skill hell and try to get like a little challenge or something i think the first the first ever wager I've ever won um, was like for 20 bucks because I was struggling to earn money at the time. Um, I beat Skeptic and he refunded me double my prize, which was um, kind of surprising to me. And they rated my and he hosted me for like over a thousand uh, viewers or something. Um, but then when I ended that stream and started streaming again, I, I went back down to square one. It was fun while it lasted. Um, and then, like, I got discovered by a team, a Team Ultimate, um, and then, like, uh, they released me on good terms, uh, like, a month into my, uh, membership with them, so then, um, I got invited by, on, through Twitch to join Team Kangarna, which I was confused, and then made a tweet about it, um, saying I'm confused, and... When it appeared on my screen that I was on Team Kangarna's Twitch page, uh, I was shocked. Like I, I like uh, I, I refreshed the page to see if it was like a joke or not, and it wasn't. Um, and then I asked them if I could make the uh, like what mo most orgs do is they would make a YouTube vid, but uh, the thing is like I'm a nice guy and I don't like to have any team I join. Um, have to, like, stress out about that, because I get sometimes it can be stressful, like, have an editor and have someone make a, a little, like, a video about someone else, which takes a while, so if people want to do that, I sometimes offer to, like, do it for free, no charge, and hard. And it takes me, like, a few, only a few days to, like, edit a vid, and, uh, it's just, it's just really, uh, good work for me, because I, it takes me a while to edit videos, because not only do I have to put in the effects and everything, it's just sometimes they either, like, don't have a channel, or they just don't want to make a channel and then like make an announcement instantly as their first video so sometimes I like try to help out in that and then like I left Gangarna to uh, started grinding again and then I joined uh, an org called Rising Stars um, they had several sponsors I went for them but it was kind of a bad deal for me and I started to grow like tired of them um, but when I tried to leave them, um, it it took me uh, two months. But I did try to I did leave them, and then like uh, and then a recruiter from Phase, which we're not going to say their name because uh, they got fired for toxic behavior. Um, a recruiter from Phase 
Um, they hit me up at Hub. Uh, I did a 1v1 tryout against them. And I uh, beat them like uh, 10 to 2. Eh, 10 to 2. Like, I was hitting some impossible shots. Shots that I didn't know I was hitting at the time. And then I like left. And then I like left them because uh, the recruiter that was bullying me again we're not going to say their name because I don't want to put any hate on anyone um they like the re this recruiter that got fired uh, he like bullied me in multiple ways like he would threaten to expose me for stuff I didn't even do um he would make like photoshopped proof and uh, blame it on me like he would like he would make photoshop proof he would um say nasty things to me and threaten me and control like what I can or can't do and all that and I just don't want to like and when I finally had enough uh I went to Apex uh who had DM who I still have I on Discord to this day um he him um I told him, hey, you know, uh, how, uh, I told him that this particular recruiter was, uh, bullying me, me, and I know you guys, like, uh, will do something about it, but I feel like, uh, I want to leave FaZe Clan, I no longer, uh, feel com- I no longer feel comfortable on the team, um, if there's gonna be, like, recruiter, if there, if this recruiter is going to, like, pick on me, and then... A few days later, I get a reply saying, Hey, uh, we fired the recruiter, uh, neuter, but if I ever want to rejoin, um, at any time, uh, hey, you know, the doors, like, always open, but, uh, I just decided I'm not gonna rejoin until, like, uh, my, until, like, I, I decided telling myself I'm not gonna rejoin, uh, I'm just gonna follow my heart and, like, look for another team, and then, like, uh, so, this, what I'm about to tell you right now it happened, like, before, uh, my team rebranded. Um, I got, uh, I started my own team, Deadly Esports, but, uh, I couldn't run it anymore, but I just had to until, like, I could find another team, but once, um, then I got a message from a guy, uh, Russian Krista, um, on Discord, basically asking me to be a part of, like, the current team I'm on, well, it was Team Spade uh, when he DM'd me. Um, he's I I I I joined the, his roster, and I f and I felt as though once I joined, I was finally on a team that like uh, I feel like I belong in. Like this team makes me feel like I belong with them, and um and it just makes me feel comfortable with being myself and. It, I don't. I don't feel insecure anymore. That, or I feel like this is definitely it. And then he like asked me, "Hey, you know, like we want to rebrand the team. Um, team. Um, you have any ideas?" I t I suggested to him the name uh, Team Rise Army. Like it was originally going to be Team Rise Army, but he said. Hey, you know, like, uh, what, how about Team Rise, uh, that, that, that could work also, and I thought about it, and I was like, hey, you know, uh, let's go for it, I, I, ever since we rebranded, though, a lot of people have, like, been confused, like, they've been confusing Team Rise, um, for another team with a similar name, Rise Nation, um, so people ask me if, it's Rise Nation, and I, and I would always tell them, no, uh, we're a completely different team with, like, a completely different logo. Um, I'm still, uh, watching FaZe from time to time to this day, and, uh, hey, hey and, and I, I still think about them. Um, but I just don't want to rejoin until, you know, like, I feel like I'm, I'm, until I feel as though I'm ready he too, but so but I said, 
hey, you know, I'm going to follow my heart and uh, stay with uh, stay with uh, Team Rise uh, for a very long time now. So, and I just want to, like, uh, move on from everything that happened in the past. And I, I just want to... I just want to do gaming without ever feeling as though I don't belong or whatever. But no one has to worry because people have not seen... Because people have not seen the last of Nick TTV.